What's going on YouTube? You got a stack of cards to show off here. I've um, been waiting for some stuff to come in. The uh, last package I was waiting on came in today and got some really nice stuff. So go ahead and jump into it. Uh, a few weeks ago at uh, trade night, RBI Crew 7 sports cards, um, I came across a card in one of Ryan's boxes and told him that I would like to have it. Uh, he was super crazy busy, obviously, uh, running the trade night, everybody pulling him every which direction, so I just had him set it aside, and uh, we agreed that we would just work out a deal at some other time. Um, a few days later, after the show, we worked out a price, and I got it in my collection. Um, it is from 2013 Tops Tier 1. It is one of the uh, Tier 1 Rookie Reprint acetate cards and it is of Ryan Braun as you can see acetate and as numbered see if I can get that 23 out of 25 really nice silver ink on card autograph there um, I know the guy's got a shit ton of baggage but you know he's the reason I got back into collecting when I did um, I collected pretty heavily on Ryan Braun and luckily got out literally days before the steroid drama hit. So I didn't lose any money. I made money. Got lucky. But really wanted this card. Um, big fan of Acetate. And I think this is just one of the cooler sets that uh, any of the card companies has put out in quite a while. So really happy to have that. Thank you for working out a price with me on that, Ryan. And yeah, moving on, got this on eBay, I'm not normally a huge uh, printing plate person, but this popped up for $10 by now, so I had to grab it. It's uh, from 2011, uh, what is it, Topps Rising Rookies, um, magenta printing plate of uh, Clay Matthews, really like the picture on that one for 10 bucks. cannot go wrong, so got that. Um, this Clay Matthews card was uh, thrown in with the Ryan Braun that uh, Ryan sent me. Um, got this in one of his, uh, I believe, in one of the collections he bought. This was in one of the boxes he was going through. Uh, number 22 out of 50 from 2011. Certified Fabric of the Game Prime Patch Card. One color, but hey, I didn't have it, and I like it. So, there we go. Thank you for that, Ryan. I appreciate you throwing that in. Um, if some of you watched uh, Joey Bearcat 8's video, you noticed I sent him a care package with uh, some of my clay uh, duplicates and triplicates and so forth. Well, one of the cards I included in there was the uh, 2012 Black Friday Cracked Ice uh, insert. I had three of them, so I sent Joey one, which gave me two. But then I picked up another one. That way I'm back up to three and my hoard is happy once again so really one of my all-time favorite cards of the clay and they are anytime i can pick them up i do so back up to three so there's that and finally the package i've been waiting on i shouldn't even say be waiting on i literally agreed to this deal around one o'clock friday afternoon and they're already in my hands so i'm super super pumped for these um Bought three cards from a seller. He and I have been going back and forth for a couple weeks. Uh, couldn't figure out a price. I knew what I wanted to pay, and he just wanted me to pay a little bit more. And so we just cut off talks, and then I let a week or so go by, and then I contacted him Friday about, oh, I don't know, shortly before noon. And by 1 o'clock, we had the deal wrapped up. So very, very happy to get these. Um... Up first, we've got a Daniel Ballou, or uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce his last name. I think it's, uh, I'm pronouncing Daniel Ballou. It might be Ballou, Bloud, not sure. But this is from 2000 and, what year is this? 2011, uh, Allen and Ginter, um, framed mini auto. This guy is a world-renowned uh, French chef. Won tons of awards, has uh, restaurants all over the place, um, overseas and here in the States, uh, including New York, and that's where he became famous. Um, he has a restaurant in New York named Daniel, and 
he's won three James Beard Awards throughout his career. Once for Best Chef in New York, again for Outstanding Chef of the Year amongst everywhere, and then his restaurant won uh, uh, the Best Restaurant Tour uh, Award. So anybody who knows anything about the culinary world, James Beard Award is basically like the Nobel Peace Prize. It's freaking crazy awesome to get these and like i said he's got three of them and he also uh his restaurant in new york um was given uh three michelin stars which is the highest ranking that you can possibly receive as a restaurant so very happy to get that that card was actually just a throw-in for the other two that uh, i agreed to buy um i wanted that one and uh, he just threw it in for free because he noticed in one of our previous uh, discussions, he sent me a message that kind of ended the talks, and he went back and reread it and realized it came off very rude, so he uh, very kindly just threw that in for free, so I was really happy. Um, but here were the two that I agreed to buy. Uh, again, from 20, 000, uh, 2011, Tops Allen and Ginter, we have Matt Hoffman. Anybody that watches the X Games or <laughs> even the Jackass movies, this guy is prominent in those, and, uh, man, yeah, that's terrible. Turn that back off. Um, but it says right there, bearing the signature of Matt Hoffman, champion of BMX, biking, and extreme sports. Um, this guy's been around forever, and he revolutionized the, uh, the sport of BMX riding, especially uh, vert. He's one, considered one of the best vert riders of all time. Um, nicknamed the Condor. Um, just really cool to get that autograph into my collection. Really neat one to have. So I am happy with that. Now finally, on to the big boy. This guy's autograph is not easily uh, found. And when you do, it is does not come at a cheap price. Um, Considered by some to be the greatest Olympian of all time, and without a doubt, the greatest Olympic swimmer of all time. From 2012, tops Allen and Ginter, we've got the badass motherfucker, Michael Phelps. And to have this card in my possession is just freaking ridiculous. I, I'm so happy to have this thing. It's... Mm, just look at that. On card autograph of one of the greatest Olympians of all time. The guy does not sign much. Um, this was a obviously this was a pretty big short print from the uh, 2012 set. Definitely one of the chasers. Um, but so happy to have that in my collection. Um, and it sounds like this guy may come out of retirement for the 2016 games. He already came out of retirement and competed. Uh, just here in the last week or two, and won one of his races and finished second in another uh, to Ryan Lochte. So he still has it, and I think with uh, another year or so of training, he could be right back there at the uh, 2016 games, which would be incredible. Be great for our country. The guy has 22 Olympic medals, which is a record. 18 of those 22 are gold. Uh, multiple world records and Olympic records. Uh, the guy's just incredible. So yeah, that's what I have for the show off of my mail day. I, I'm so happy to get that Michael Phelps auto and the other Ginters into my collection. Uh, the big names that were left on my uh, Allen and Ginter list were Randy Couture, Mike Tyson, and Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps being at the top of that. And I'm just really, really pumped to get that card. So, yep, that's what I got. Beautiful. Freaking legend. Legend, legend, legend. So, anyway, that's all I got. <laughs> this is one of my shorter videos, keeping this thing under 10 minutes. So, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you have a great week.